Good morning, guys. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. So, today we have some pretty gross weather. It doesn't snow here, it doesn't get very cold, but during the winter time it does rain a lot and it's very overcast. Let me show you if you can. So, now that it's clearing up, we're gonna run to Walmart and get some Christmas su supplies uh, for cherry pie and some of our other holiday traditions. Uh, yeah, so you'll join us there, and I need to work on this dang barn door. It's been dragging out. I just need to finish it, knock it out, and be done with it. Uh, so I went and grabbed some screws from Ace Hardware this morning, and we'll be working on that all day after we get back from Walmart. So I just freaked out because look at what's on my leg right now. Gross! Yeah, it's nothing. I well, thought it was a spider. No. You freaked out. Ah, Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay. Where'd it go? Where'd it go, babe? Did I felt it jump off, but where'd it go? Where'd it go? You're, it's a good thing I'm stopped at a red light. I need to vacuum my floor. But for real, where'd it go? It's um, like, oh no, it's thundering. So you guys can see the rain is coming down again. Poor Chiefy. Yeah, he does not like thunderstorms. I really need to order him a thunder shirt. That's what he's getting for Christmas. You, have you ever told him about what he did to uh, the past houses? No, I haven't. Yeah, went during a thunderstorm? I'll tell him. Well, should I tell them about Hillary's? Yeah, tell them about Hillary's. When I moved to South Dakota, initially after I graduated, and Jesse stayed- up Oh, there's the bug! God, no! <laughs> <sighs> I found it. <laughs> At least I know where it is. I'm sorry to interrupt. We'll tell you about Chief after we get out of Walmart because I can't focus with this bug in here. Sorry, babe. We'll okay. tell the story in a little bit. All right. We need to get this bug out. <laughs> here, can you I'll, come get it? I'll come save him. Don't hurt him though. I just want him outside. Oh, I just don't want him. Don't you jump on me. <laughs> Chad's coming to save the day. Don't hurt him. Oh, see? He's gone. Okay, thank you. I got one of these for my 13th birthday party one year. Oh yeah? Yeah. I punched it and broke it in half. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Look at this Kit Kat. Oh. There's individually wrapped bars. I thought it was one big old oh, Kit Kat. I think it is. No, it says it right there. Individually wrapped bars. Yeah, but they're huge bars. No, they're not big bars. I think they're just little packages. Turn on the back. Look at the serving size. 32 servings. Oh. Two two piece balls. Look at that football. Chaz just almost hit a lady. <laughs> because what? he was trying to. No ice cream? That's what I usually get. Do you like that one? Mm -hmm. So Chaz wanted me to vlog because he feels weird and awkward. <laughs> like people think he's spying well, on them. I, I feel like I look like a creeper. <laughs> Whereas with you, you just look like a person who's filming himself. Yeah. So I'm going to vlog from that one. <laughs> Alright, so there were a lot of people in Walmart. So we didn't really vlog a whole lot, but. I feel weird vlogging in public. <laughs> 
Yeah. It's so funny because a lot of people are not shy at all and I just see them walking around like with cameras. I mean in videos, not Right. I've never public. seen anybody in real life actually doing it. Me either. Yeah. So it's just not the norm. You know, people just don't walk around filming themselves or like talking to a camera. But anyway, so I don't mind it so much like if I'm with other people. You know, but if yeah. I'm like by myself, especially, also, I feel kind of awkward. But you know, you kind of just have to get over it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you we're, are a YouTuber. We're getting, better, we're getting better. Yeah. If it's a if it's a phone, it just looks like you're FaceTiming or something. Right. But having like an actual camera, it just looks like oh, well, it's more obvious that you're right. filming yourself. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna stop and grab some Culvers on the way home. We have not been eating the best recently, just because. I don't know. We've just been really busy since before Thanksgiving, really. That was like the last real <laughs> food that we've really eaten. Yeah. So, well, no, I take that back. I did make roasted veggies and chicken and fish. I think we cooked enough stuff. for a long time. No. Just like, we cooked so much in a short amount of time. We're just like, I don't feel like cooking. I don't feel like cooking. Yeah. And we're just going to stop in. I'm really feeling french fries right now, and Chaz is feeling a burger. So, we're just going to stop in there just really quick and then we'll head home and put up some Christmas decorations. All right, so while we're waiting for our food, Chaz wanted to finish telling you guys about Chief in the thunderstorms because he does not like them. He is so terrified of them. So. He is definitely afraid of them. I, yeah. I don't know what, what caused it, but it's gotten worse as he's gotten older. But when I moved to South Dakota and you were staying in Florida, you lived with uh, another teacher. You lived with Hillary, your good friend, who is another teacher, and she lived on the ground floor and you lived upstairs. Um, and I guess you, you both were gone for the day and we let Chief, you guys left Chief out and a thunderstorm came in. And yeah, we were at school teaching. Yeah. Yeah. And Chief went into her closet <laughs> and pooped inside one of her bags. <laughs> yeah, her like purses. a Vera Bradley bag, like a nice bag. It was like a duffel bag that she had on the floor in her closet and he pooped in it because <laughs> he was so scared. scared Poor poop baby. I know. And I didn't even notice or I didn't even know until I came home because I think she got home before I did and she had already watched it and everything. And, and she was like, oh yeah, I just have to tell you because I thought it was so funny that Chief pooped in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Poor baby. Oh. He will also tear up carpets though yeah. if we leave the doors closed. So he tries to like scratch to get out to try to escape. So anytime that there is a thunderstorm coming, we have to make sure that the doors are open so that he can go in all of the rooms because there was a, there have been a couple of times where he's tried to get into our bedroom and he has completely shredded the carpet and that is yeah. not fun because then we have Dakota. to pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, we have to make sure that the doors are open and not closed. Sometimes we just get in a habit of closing doors to bedrooms and things when we're not going to be using them. And so, I don't know. Anyway. Well, we got home just in time. So I just checked the mail and I forgot I ordered this, but I did order something from Pink Blush about a week ago. And this is a dress that I was going to wear to Chaz's work holiday party, but we just remembered that Chaz is actually going to be out of town for his holiday party because his mom and dad just moved down to Orlando or that area. And so he's going to fly up to Tennessee and then drive down the U-Haul to help them move all of their stuff down. So I won't get to wear this for the holiday Christmas party, but I might be able to wear it for something else. So let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh, it's like a velvety feel. So this is what it looks like, and it's so soft, you guys. I love it. I'll have to put it on for something. I'll have to wear this for something during the month of December, and I'll show you guys. But by the way, this is not sponsored. I just was showing you guys what I ordered and what I got in the mail today. So we didn't go to Walmart for a lot of things. We got a few more things than what you see here, but these are what we're gonna use that are kind of Christmas related. So we got some cranberries for a potpourri that we're gonna talk about in one of our upcoming videos, some cinnamon sticks, some cherry pie filling. We got these little suction cups to help hang some of the icicle lights on our windows, some command hooks to help with the garland around our door, some icicle lights because we were one box short, and then just these deep dish pie crusts for some cherry pie. So you guys will see all of this here very soon.
I love you, my handyman. I love you. Oh, yeah, the sun is coming out. You're right. Careful. Yeah, finally. Wow, it's like shining on me. I know. <laughs> All right, so while Chaz is working in the garage, I'm gonna let you guys check out some of our Christmas photos that we got done a couple of weeks ago. A lot of you guys have seen our new intro, not for Vlogmas, but just our regular intro. And that footage was actually taken when we got our Christmas pictures done. And so that was just something fun that we did as kind of like an extra thing while we were there just because we felt dressed up and I just felt like, I don't know, doing something fancy. So you guys kind of got a little bit of a sneak peek or a behind the scenes of that, but let me go ahead and show you a little bit more now. have a lot of fun getting our Christmas pictures done and yes we did take Chewy so thank you guys for answering in that poll it was so funny because it just we weren't sure if it was like a little too weird to take a rabbit but we decided to take him anyway because he's part of our family it's our family and friends that are getting our Christmas cards anyway so they know we're weird as it is so it doesn't really bother us <laughs> and you guys know that he's part of our life too so yes we did include him in our family pictures that's right. looking great, babe. Thanks. So everything's just kind of, uh, it's nothing's secured down or screwed in. I was just cutting and putting everything in place to see how I like it. I think that's going to look awesome. I still need to cut these diagonal pieces, but um, I think I'm going to do the frame first. So once I know everything's locked in, I'll measure the distance. Yeah, and those angled pieces will really give it that farmhouse look. Yeah. That'll really look like a and legit paint, barn door. Paint these all white. Do you hear that motorcycle? That is so loud. Maybe where our house is located, the acoustics are just really good because we hear everything here so loud. Um, do you think, I just want to do 145 degree angle cut. So do you think I should do have the tip in right here and then coming down to here. Do you I don't know. I'll have to look online and see what it's supposed to look like. I can either make it come up into there like that. No, I don't like that. Or I can make it come. Yes, in. that's how it should be. Like that. It should be this way because I feel like it should be attached to, like it should look like it's part of this piece. Oops, I moved it. Yes, yeah, so, so it should be kind of cohesive with this middle piece here. Right. All right, so it's super windy out here, so sorry if you guys can hear that, but we're just keeping it very simple this year with some poinsettias, a wreath, and then some simple pre-lit garland. <laughs> uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? That's what uh-oh means. Oh, only one of them works. Make sure they're plugged into each other. Oh no! You know, I remember one of these bulbs. Breaking. Oh, you're right. So it's probably just a simple bulb fix. Do you think? I hope so.
right, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. We got some of our lights put up today, but not everything. We got to spend some time with some of our new neighbors and Chaz hadn't met them yet. Mm -hmm. So they actually came on down and she was so sweet. The lady that lives down there, she brought us apples and oranges, which is so cute and healthy. And I felt so funny because I was just thinking about taking them Christmas cookies and she's like all healthy. So you mean <laughs> like our, our failed cookies? Our failed cookies, yeah. yeah. So I was, it was just funny because, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to take them Christmas cookies and they brought us apples and oranges. That's a lot healthier. It is. It is. I'm very <laughs> appreciative. I love apples and oranges. That's great. Yeah. No, but they were so sweet. And they're just a young couple and... Military, pregnant. Yep. Yeah. I mean, we have a lot in common. A lot in common. Yeah. So, and they were actually from um, the same place that we lived at before we moved here. Yeah. So, so it's, we just have course, a lot of connections. We, got, yeah. we just got to talking and stuff. Yeah. And the weather put us behind with, um, you know, getting started this morning, not, not able, not being able to run our errands to Walmart and everything. But now that we have our supplies for our Christmas traditions, we'll be showing those tomorrow yeah. on Vlogmas day three. All right. Well, we will see you guys tomorrow. If you're not already subscribed, definitely hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss our next video. Bye. Bye.